Hi, right, welcome back to Chuck's Tuesday Tip. We're still here at the pig extravaganza. I'm here with my pal Noah. He's here with his dad working on a pig over there. Okay, Noah, you can go back with your dad. I just had to introduce him. I'm here with this other guy. I already forgot his name. We're working on a putting in pig ears, and I'm going to show you what airliners not to use because I already showed you what to use. Don't use these wherever you got them from. And I'm going to show you why I don't use this glue. Remember I always talking about how your glue is uh, used to uh, move your skin around, tax it, and to, uh, to slide things around. And you know how I always put a little bit of glue in my ear here. Work it up to the tip. Watch this. Well, we drop. I do it just like I do with mine. I start to try to move it. Nothing happens. It just locks up on itself because they put grit in it. Plus, it does this. And then we'll take a little bit here. Messy at my shop, you ought to see Mark. Hey, now I swept yesterday. You did sweep. That's I true. did sweep. A little bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to get this yeah. in. Pretty cool. Yeah. Here, I'm supposed to be helping you. That's one thing I like about it. You're supposed to be helping you. Now, remember? Get it. Find the leading edge. And adjust your ear. Can you feel where the edge is? Yeah. Okay, so that's important to make sure that you've got your leading edge lined up. And then this apex. And then remember to tuck it. You want to pull that down inside. Yeah, you want to push that down in there in your ear. Now, Mark uses this stapler that all everyone sells. What you want is that P3 that I use, the Bosch. And so we're going to use this kind of prehistoric thing. Thanks. Look at this. <laughs> sure is sticky though. Okay, now, you're going to put your staples in. Glue that to your hand right there. It's got glue on. Start in this corner. We always start and work our way around right there. Yep. Put one. And about a half, yeah. Six half inch or so. Yep. Every half inch, you're going to lay a staple in. Put it around, come in from this way. Get close to that one. So that's good. Now on this, you come in and we'll put the three staples here like I do. One, the next to it. Yeah, it's really hard to do if you don't have the right stapler. This is kind of a quick impromptu thing of like maybe to show a comparison of when you look at my other earliner video, how I do the ear. And it shows you a different a different way and why I do how I do what I do. Mark's got the genuine old school Coke cups I gave him. Remember it's always Coke, not Pepsi. The Pepsi sticks. Yep, the Pepsi sticks because uh, there's no wax on it. And now remember how I showed you on the other one? Kind of fold that, shove that down there and you keep that cut right along the uh, center line right here to go perfectly. So now, yeah, now go down as far as you can. See this stapler type won't let you go down as far into the ear. There you go. I'll go make a line. Yeah, if you can. Right in the center. No, right, right next to the edge of the cut there. Like that. And go all the way out to the tip. 
There you go. And then hide paste is what really Now spin it around and come back this work. way. Now when you run Make sure you push it down. Yeah. Now you feel how thick the glue is in there? You can't really feel how thick this glue is, but it, it's really thick. It's going to change. It adds to your uh, thickness of your ear and everything. So that's why I like to use the glue I use. It All glue is dextrin based. Um, the difference is they make this thick, they put a dye in it for color, and they put some kind of sand or dirt in it so it makes it feel gritty or sticky. That's not a bad thing right there. Yeah, that's Yeah, it's yeah because it, that's a good point. See what he pointed out. It's hard to see in here, but these cups lay out here, at the bottom of our ear, or yeah. inside uh -huh. here. <laughs> the skin this holds it to the inside of your ear line or way down in here. So it's important to get a staple so as far down as you can to, to keep it tight. And then again, with that stapler type, it's really hard to get way in there with the P3, the skinny one, it's got a long deep throat on it, well, I can't say that, but um, it gets way in there, so there you go. Is it, yeah, now you don't do any out here? Yeah, now you come along and do your outer edge. Outside. Yeah, see, students teaching the master. There you go. Now he is the master, and I can go drink coffee. <laughs> Which I will. Good job. And then the same here. And then we'll need a, bu a bucket of water or something so we can clean our ears off too. Hey, that's Mark's stapler. Just let a glue shut, man. We don't care. Huh, <laughs> Mark? What's that? Just say yes. Yep. You okay. bet. Thank you. All right, now we're going to clean this up. He's going to go do the ear butts. I'm going to teach him how I do the ear muscles. And we're going to throw this hog together. And maybe we'll do one more video today if we have time. So thanks for tuning in to Chuck Tuesday Tips again. Come here and say goodbye, Noah, to your friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs>